Okay, welcome to the next part of the video. In the last video, we had a bit of a silly failure. Once I got into orbit, I completely forgot to open the radiator on the XR2. And I mainly forgot because uh, the XR2 is mounted externally. Uh, rather, I have the ex this external tank mounted to the XR2, and I have focus on that external tank at the moment and not the XR2, so I don't have that panel in front of me, and I just, it just for I just forgot about it. Uh, fortunately, I run a uh, add-on called State Saver, <clears throat> and it's, it just saves my orbiter scenario every, I think it's like every two minutes or something. So I didn't actually have to go back to the launch pad. I was able to uh, pick back up from a fairly recent point. Uh, so that's where things are now. So I'm just going to go ahead then and continue forward to the time to begin the burn. Going to do the burn with about 2,000 meters per second that I have here left over in this external tank. And then we'll switch vessels to the XR2, inherit the plan. Hopefully that'll work. Rotation. And then finish the burn from the XR2. Kind of an odd way to do things, but uh, no need to let this perfectly good fuel go to waste. Be interesting to see if it works. I don't even know if it will work. Okay, getting close to that point to do the burn here. Get the X all centered up. Looks good there. And burning. You can see our delta V counting down here. Fuel counting down here. So we've got about... Uh, it's counting down pretty fast, so less than 10 seconds, I would say. <clears throat> Okay, that's done. So control J to separate the XR2. Now switch over to the XR2 quickly. And we've got to come into Transex and inherit the plan. Oh wait, I yeah, that's right. Back up EXC, that's that's inherits the plan. Now view over to target. Uh, that's not going to work, because you see it reset the delta V out to 6,000. Well, I guess what I can do... Rotation. Translation. Just translating away a little bit from there. Rotation. What I may have to do is go back to that previous state save and do this over and just use the XR2 because I'm going to basically be doing this blind now. So we know the total burn is 6,600 and I know I've got about 2,000 out of the uh, external tank. So now I'm just going to burn until this is like 4,600 then turn maneuver mode off and see how things look. I don't know if this will work because this is just relying on a lot of a lot of question marks. I think it's gonna be it would be pretty sloppy. So I'm going to go ahead and warp time forward until we're down to uh, about 4,200, I guess. No, 2,200. Yeah. Yeah, because we got about 2,000 out of the out of the tank. So, got warp time forward. This is my measurement when this green line is laying over top the hypothetical then I then I know I'm reasonably close Got more time forward a bit I 
don't think this is going to work. I mean, this is just way too far off. I mean, look at that. That's extremely far off. We're almost matched up on that side, but our that extra bit of delay that we had is just causing our semi-major to be off by just a huge amount. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Yeah, basically the burn should be done about now. But if I now turn maneuver mode off, I'm going to see that I'm just off by, you know, yeah, this is just ridiculously far off. All right, let, let's not do that. That That's just not a good idea. All right, let's bring up the quick save. I think it was that one. Okay, so this time uh, I'm just going to detach the XR2 and just do the burn like I normally would. Doing it the other way just doesn't just doesn't look just doesn't make sense. Let me switch over to the XR2. System reset. Open the radiator. Warning: systems overheating. Warning: systems failure. Oxygen system flow reset. offline. System reset. Systems rebooted. Okay. Oxygen flow. System reset. All right. Let's. Actually, I should have switched here first. <clears throat> Control J to jettison the XR2. Now inherit that plan. Execute. Rotation. Translation. Let's translate away from that tank. Okay, let's go prograde. Okay, now transex. Uh, this will just take a second. Have to bring up view maneuver, turn maneuver mode on. And we need like 6674. Actually, I can just type it in. And the date, we'll swing it around. Forward on this side, kill the plan. And forward on that side, view the encounter. Backwards on this side, view the setup, graph projection to focus. Now view maneuver and finalize the maneuver. <clears throat> Pr 
retrograde and that's got us there we're hitting hitting mercury of course we won't actually hit mercury but that's what the plan says at the moment so let's go prograde and view target warp time forward and this time we'll just do the burn you know like we normally would okay back to prograde to get the ship settled Rotation. Translation. Actually, quickly. <laughs> Running out of time. Okay, so now we're just doing the burn, you know, like we normally would in one big, one, one big burst. And it will take a little bit of time to do the burn, so I'll go ahead and warp time forward at 10 for a little bit. Stop here and there so I can make corrections with the uh, X. Real time for a moment. Get the X centered up a bit better. And warping time forward again. And this is coming along much nicer, it looks like. And both external fuel tanks are empty. I heard them both expire. Yeah, obviously this looks much better. You can see how much nicer this green line's matching up with the hypothetical. up to the end of the burn. Be backing off the main engines here soon. Okay. Let me translation. Rotation. Kill rotation, get things centered up a little bit. do just a little bit more on the burn, but I need to turn maneuver mode off quickly because the time now is obviously expired. So we're down to a meter per second. Okay, now we'll turn maneuver mode off. And we'll go forward on this side and do a little bit here with translation to uh, get our encounter closer. Translation. down translation rotation translation Trying to get as much correction as I can here before we pull away from Earth. A little bit more up-down translation.
getting there. 5,000 kilometers. Down to 4,500 kilometers. Down to 3,500. That's probably not even necessary to go any more than this, but I just want to make sure that I leave Earth headed in the right direction. <laughs> Okay, so that's that's Mercury. Pulling away from Earth. Do we have time to continue? Yeah, we're only at 16 minutes in this video, so let's just go ahead and warp time forward per usual. Get out away from <clears throat> get out away from the influence of Earth. But before we do that, let's uh, check burn time calculator. And we had the uh, well, we don't have any more extra fuel mass, so that's correct now. <clears throat> so we have 10 kilometers, 10.2 kilometers per second left. Let's go ahead and jettison the external tanks, or I guess I should say the extra fuel modules, just to see how much we gain. So we're at 10.2. I don't think we actually gain all that much. speed up the animation and we'll have these deploy at uh, point four instead just to speed those up a little bit so let's get rid of that one payload deployed and let's get rid no of base slot selected and let's get rid of that one payload deployed okay so we went from 10.2 something to 10.5 so somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 meters a second. Close up the bay doors, speed up the animation. Turn off the APU and we are coasting toward Mercury. All right, a little bit of 100X to get away from the Earth. Rotation. And we'll go out to a thousand. And let's bring up orbit MFD just to track where we are in relation to uh, Earth's gravitational influence. Okay, we're well outside of the uh, strong gravitational influence, but we're still inside of Earth's uh, weak gravitational influence. And the stage will be updating here very soon. There it is. Okay, now let me think about when the best time to do the mid-course correction is. We know that uh, we know that some of the key points are apoapsis, periapsis, and one of the nodes, or you know the nodes. We are at apoapsis basically now, you know, very close to it. And we're never going to cross a node between here and Mercury because. Uh, we're trying to basically arrive at Mercury at the ascending node, so we're never going to cross a node prior to getting there, so there's no chance to do a mid-course correction before that point. So I guess what we'll use for our system of measurement is the closest approach, like when going out to Mars. 
as we warp time forward, we just watch for the closest approach to bottom out. Uh, when it won't go any lower, that's uh, that's a good time to do a mid-course correction. So we'll do that. Just watching the closest approach. It, there it is. It's as low as it's going to get. It's actually climbing a little bit to this point, so I should have started it sooner. But we're close. So we view the encounter on this side. We'll turn maneuver mode on on this side. And we'll just start punching in some numbers and see what happens. Okay, so positive prograde is no good. Okay, so maybe a little bit of prograde, but basically nothing there. Uh, see what outward does. A little bit of positive outwards making things much worse. Negative outward, let's see what was that doing. So we're starting at 17.6. Okay, so that's helping. Not by much, but it's helping. Uh, let's see if we combine a little bit of outward and a little bit of prograde. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be the variable we need. I think we need plane change. Yeah, that's help. That's having the most significant impact by far. Okay, so that gets us down to about six four. So let's overshoot plane change, go out to 7. Now let's go to outward. And, yep, yeah, that's what we need to do. And let's drive ourselves right into the middle. And that's going to be our maneuver. 29 meters a second. Translation. Rotation. Okay, now let me think about this silly green X. I always have problems thinking about which way I need to turn because this whole thing is not a plane, it's a sphere. But since it's not shown in 3D, you can't you don't really know if that's behind you or in front of you. Since it's to the left of the center, let me try rotating left. No. Since it's to the left of the center, I need to rotate right. And since it's on top, I need to rotate, I don't know, <laughs> down. And that was the wrong way. Yeah, I don't know how you know. Okay, a little bit of main engine, we'll bring it down to one meter a second and then turn off maneuver mode and eyeball it from there. Okay, actually I overshot that. Translation. Ever so slightly. So now we turn maneuver mode off and watch the encounter on that side and no correction from there needs to be changed because the encounter it's still showing that we're running right into the middle. Okay, now we will warp time forward uh, half as much again. So the encounter MJD is 51406. So we'll go out to 51. Sixty-two. Rotation. and or we'll watch for the closest approach to top out and then start dialing itself back down whichever happens first I guess okay closest approach is now it looks like it's gonna top out here any second maybe yeah now it's coming back down slowly but it's coming back down but we're still going to have to make a mid-course correction before then. Yeah, we'll do another MCC now. 
Okay, view encounter, maneuver mode on. Variables start with uh, start with plane change. Okay, let's not start with plane change. Let's start with prograde. Okay, yeah, prograde's having the most effect this time. Maybe. Okay, so that's 40. Let's see what outward does. Looks like we're getting a better deal on outward. Slightly better deal, but better nonetheless. Okay, we'll run ourselves straight into the planet again. That's our maneuver. Translation. Rotation. Okay. all centered up and we'll do a 36 meter per second big course correction kill the engine translation but a translation to get ourselves down below one meter a second and now we'll view the encounter to finish out the maneuver rotation translation Okay, now, counter date 451406, so what are we, like 40 days out now? So we'll go forward another 20 days, 51381. Okay, that's coming back down, so we'll skip this mid-course correction. Well, maybe not. Let's go ahead and do it. Well, it seems like it's kind of wobbling in and out. That's a small enough number. I'm not going to worry too much about it unless it's Is it just going to continue to climb. No, now it's coming back down. Okay. Now it's going back up. We're presuming it's going to come back down. There it's coming back down. What's the date again? 51406. Five, so we're very close. Warning. Oxygen low. Oh, please. Tell me I've got enough oxygen. Nine days. System reset. How much, how much time do I need? I'm like cutting it so stupidly close. Okay, for, let me do this. Let me reference Mercury on Map MFD. Copy that information to the HUD. Rotation. Because I want to see where Mercury's at. I'm just curious. Probably just can't see anything yet, but. There's Mercury. Can't really see it yet. Let's go forward a bit farther. Watching the minimum altitude. It's coming down. No need to do a mid-course correction then at this point. Actually, it's going up now. Okay, we'll go ahead and do another mid-course. Because we're close enough in now that I uh, want to make sure everything's lined up. Okay, maneuver mode on. Okay, 
okay, we don't really need to maneuver. We can just do this with translation. Because that was just four meters a second. That's nothing. Translation. Rotation. Orient myself to some direction. Translation. See, with just a little bit of lateral translation, that minimum altitude's coming down. There's no need to set up a, a whole mid-course correction just for that. Okay, warp time forward. 51406. It's going to be hilarious if I, like, get right up to the planet and run out of air. Actually, it won't be hilarious. It'll be disgusting, but... I've got five days left, and I'm going to be there at 51406. Cutting it very close. Watching my focus PED, it's climbing out, so I'm not going to worry about crashing into the surface. <clears throat> Except it's turning around and going back down here. Okay. Where's Mercury at? Still can't really see it. Yeah, you can. It's just really small still. Okay. Rotation. Translation. Just putting in a bit of lateral translation to bring the focus PED out. I don't want to have a subterranean focus PED. Inclination is 137, so we're going to be we're going to be retrograde unless unless the orbit plane changes significantly. Continue warping time forward. Just a bit more laterals to push out that focus PD a bit more. We're at 5104, 51405. We've just got a little bit farther to go. So we're going to be there at the end of the day on 51406. We're almost there. I can even see the planet coming into view. Here we are. We made it. But we can't count ourselves lucky just yet because we still have to land. And we're at a 30 minute mark on this video. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it here, but let's take a look at our oxygen really quick. We've got nine hours left, nine, nine and a half hours left. And according to this, we're going to be there in just another, uh, you know, between 0.9832 and 0.86. So we're going to be there and then we just have to be able to land and touch down on the base. And I did put a base on Mercury. Uh, I copied Brighton Beach and put it on Mercury. So that's going to wrap it up for this part of the video. Pretty exciting to come back and see how this ends. I'm actually so excited myself that I'm going to continue recording uh, right after this. If you like this part of the video, leave me a comment down below. I love it when you guys leave me comments. It's, it's the great. It makes my day. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. If you like the content, that is. If you don't like the content, then don't describe. Don't don't subscribe. Um, I also have a Facebook page. I post all my videos. I post various pictures and other space-related content on there, so check the description down below for a link to my Facebook page. I'll see you in the next part. Create the XR2. Now switch over to the XR2 quickly. And we've got to come into Transex and inherit the plan. Oh, wait. I, yeah, that's right. Back up.
exe that that's inherits the plan now view over to target uh that's not gonna work because you see it reset the delta v out to six thousand well i guess what i can do rotation translation just translating away a little bit from there rotation what I may have to do is go back to that previous state save and do this over and just use the XR2 because I'm going to basically be doing this blind now. this is my measurement when this green line is laying over top the hypothetical then I then I know I'm reasonably close and warp time forward a bit this is gonna work I mean, this is just way too far off I mean look at that that's extremely far off so we know the total burn is 6600 and I know I've got about 2,000 out of the uh, external tank so now I'm just gonna burn till this is like 4600 then turn maneuver mode off and see how things look I don't know if this will work because this is just relying on a lot of a lot of question marks. I think it's gonna be it would be pretty sloppy. So I'm going to go ahead and warp time forward until we're down to uh, about 4,200, I guess. No, 2,200. Yeah. Yeah, because we got about 2,000 out of the out of the tank, so we've got more time forward. <clears throat> okay, welcome to the next part of the video. In the last video, we had a bit of a silly failure. Once I got into orbit, I completely forgot to open the radiator on the XR2. And I mainly forgot because uh, the XR2 is mounted externally. Uh, rather, I have the ex this external tank mounted to the XR2, and I have focus on that external tank at the moment, and not the XR2, so I don't have that panel in front of me, and I just it just for I just forgot about it. Uh, fortunately, I run a uh, add-on called State Saver, <clears throat> and it's it just saves my orbiter scenario every I think it's like every two minutes or something. So I didn't actually have to go back to the launch pad. I was able to uh, pick back up from a fairly recent point. Uh, so that's where things are now, so I'm just going to go ahead then and continue forward to the time to begin the burn. Going to do the burn with about 2,000 meters per second that I have here left over in this external tank, and then we'll switch vessels to the XR2, inherit the plan, hopefully that'll work, Rotation. and then finish the burn from the XR2. Kind of an odd way to do things, but... Uh, no need to let this perfectly good fuel go to waste. Be interesting to see if it works. I don't even know if it will work. Okay, getting close to that point to do the burn here. Get the X all centered up. Looks good there. And burning. We can see our delta V counting down here fuel counting down here so we've got about uh, it's counting down pretty fast so less than 10 seconds I would say <clears throat> okay that's done so control J to separate